Happy New Year's Eve, Eve, everyone. I'm meteorologist Allison Gargaro from Fox 35 in Orlando, and we are going to take you all across the country to let you know what you can expect in the weather department for your New Year's Eve. I know so many folks excited to get outside and enjoy, be with family and friends to ring in 2023 and say goodbye to 2022. Now, this is a look at our Orlando forecast for New Year's Eve at midnight. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 60s. We're actually going to be monitoring a weak cool front sweeping across the Florida Peninsula. That's why rain chances will be in the forecast overnight and then things will be clearing up and drying out as we head into your New Year's Day. Maybe you don't live in Florida. Just want to let you know we had a very, very cold Christmas afternoon highs on Christmas Day. We're in the mid 40s, so we're going to be warming up just about a week later. So really something that I know us Floridians are looking forward to, but other folks across the country looking forward to snow. That's great news if you're planning on heading out to the slopes for this holiday weekend. I do want to take you into what we're going to be seeing across the country heading into 2023. So that front that I mentioned that will be moving across the Florida Peninsula is now making its way across Louisiana and continuing across the southeast. So as we head into this weekend, it's going to be rather wet along the east coast as that front and low pressure system will be moving there. Now centered on the West Coast, we're actually going to be looking at an atmospheric river or Pine Pineapple Express. Maybe you've heard that. It's basically, think of a firefighter's hose that's just aiming water directly at the west coast of the U.S. And that's exactly what it is. It's tropical moisture. So a lot of rain is going to be heading into California over the next few days. And then that trend will be moving across the southwest into portions of Arizona, as well as Colorado, New Mexico, Nevada, and a lot of snow up that way as well. Now, as we head into your Sunday, which is the start of 2023, you can see all of those showers on the east coast are now going to be making their way off into the Atlantic, so it's going to be a rather dry start and pretty warm start to the new year. That trend going to be continuing as we head into the first full week of January as well, but then you can expect even more rain and potentially even snow arriving as we head into early next week. So let's take you out to our satellite and radar as of Friday morning. Here's that area of low pressure and trailing front that's going to be bringing some showers and storms across portions of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and then into Georgia as we head throughout the remainder of today. And then an area of low pressure going to be bringing some wet weather up into the Pacific Northwest as well. So let's zoom you right on in to that West Coast. You can see um, near Salt Lake City moving all the way up toward Boise and Idaho Falls. This is the trifecta here. You can see a lot of snow is falling out in between and then some of that sleet actually just to the south of Boise right now. So there is going to be winter weather in that neighborhood. Maybe you love skiing and wouldn't you like to be here right now? One of our weather stem cameras, a live look from Golden, Colorado. That's going to be just outside of Denver and it's picture perfect. We know so many folks that are going to be getting outside and skiing and let me tell you, it's so nice to ski when the sun is out, but then or snowboard and then likely going to be seeing even more of that snow on the way. And then we talked about the atmospheric river that's tapping into some tropical moisture out in the Pacific. And like I mentioned, it's like that water hose that's aiming directly for California and then continuing down near uh, Chico here, Sacramento, all the way down to Fresno, potentially even reaching Bakersfield. Right now, it doesn't look like this is extending as far south as Los Angeles, but likely going to be seeing even more of that rain. And when the rain moves up into the higher terrain, that's when we see a lot of that snow. So monitoring conditions there for you very closely. And then up into the Pacific Northwest, Seattle, Olympia, Portland, even going to be seeing some of that rain and potentially some higher elevation snow. It looks like right now it's rain, but still early on in the morning there. So only likely going to continue as we head into the next several hours. But I do want to take you out to the Midwest. Now, they had some serious snow over the last week, week and a half, but temperatures are really climbing now. My family actually lives in northern Michigan and my dad saying, hey, temperatures are now in the 40s and 50s. That snow is starting to melt and we're going to be seeing some rain on top of that extending from St. Louis to Indianapolis, Detroit and then beyond. This is only going to continue to push off to the east as an area of low pressure will be doing the same. 
But I do want to take you down where we have been seeing some thunderstorms. That is in Baton Rouge and New Orleans. So we're looking at about 295 strikes within the last 15 minutes. So you can see that not only is it lightning that we're monitoring, but also moderate to heavy rain. The heaviest rain will be shaded in red on your screen, and you can see it moving through New Orleans as well as Slidell as we speak. And this is a live look at one of our weather stem cameras out in downtown New Orleans. You can't even see downtown. It is off into the distance. I promised I've been watching this camera for the last hour, but that's just showing you just how heavy the rain is. It's causing reduced visibility as well as slick roads, and we're going to be seeing those slick roads really across the entire country in areas that will be seeing the potential for that severe weather. Right now, it's going to be shaded in this dark green color on your screen, so from New Orleans all the way to the Panhandle. But here's a look at road conditions. You can see where that front is and everything that's shaded in green, meaning we are looking at wet conditions because of that rain. And then anything in blue is going to be that snow and a mixture of snow and ice in some of the higher elevations in California, as well as them in the Pacific Northwest. So very important that if you are planning on heading out to the slopes that you are driving carefully. And I want to show you just a satellite view of that Pineapple Express or Atmospheric River that I was explaining. You can see it really good on here, just how far off to the west it extends. So it's tapping into that tropical moisture and bringing all of that rain into California. And then in some locations, it's going to be turning into snow. Take a look at this forecast snowfall out west. We could be seeing 65 inches of snow, meaning more than five feet in some locations, about 32 inches in total, again, through Monday night in Salt Lake City, and then Denver could be seeing a few inches as well. So this is really great news for anybody that is excited to be getting outside and enjoying all that Mother Nature has to offer. That front, though, that's moving across the Florida Peninsula is going to be weakening on its approach here because the low pressure systems zipping off to the north and east. So along the east coast likely going to be seeing even heavier rain for us as you're ringing in the new year right here in central Florida could be seeing a few of those showers, but then temperatures warming right back up all thanks to an area of high pressure that will be dominant. But I do want to take you into current temperatures rather warm across the southeast 40s, 50s, 60s, even 70s and then further west and north you go. It's much, much cooler, 17 degrees in Minneapolis and 59 in San Francisco. So for the travelers today, it's going to be not too bad to travel in Charleston as well as Raleigh. Maybe a few coastal showers, but other than that, staying dry. And then everything out back behind this front is when we're going to be seeing those temperatures dropping just a bit. Afternoon highs in Boise at 40 degrees today and 42 in Lincoln. As for us here locally in Orlando, we're going to be soaring up to 82 two degrees on Saturday and temperatures right around 79 degrees for your holiday on Sunday, the first day of the new year. So I hope everybody enjoys, stays safe and has fun. And as always, thanks for joining us and depending on the Fox 35 storm team as we continue to bring you updates of what you can expect for your holiday weekend across the country.